The city of Painesville is by so far the largest municipality as well as the largest commercial center in the Republic of Liberia. With over 400,000 population density, according to the 2008 census conducted by the Liberia Geo Information Services, according to Legis, the city has a 0.5 President Ellen Johnson Salif appointed Sylvia Gibson as a mayor over the city of Pinzio, situated outside the nation's capital, Monrovia. In the 2014-2015 fiscal budget, the city corporation received 400,000 United States dollars as budgetary allotment. With this meager amount, the Athens City Mayor of Pinzio, Honorable Sivet Gibson, in her cups of lieutenants, worked Tremendous magic ranging from the year debut to the Dupert Road Intercessions Beautification Projects. During an exclusive interview conducted in the office of the Athen Mayor Sivet Gibson, she said when she took over the city, she had nothing to start with except for an amount of 29 US dollars that was left in a city coffer. Um, well, um, I was inducted into office um, on I think it was November um, 2012. Um, we came into the office um, with $29 in coffers. Um, when I requested the statement from the bank, um, we got down to $19 because the statement cost $10. Um, I think we've, um, we've come quite far from our $19 bank balance and we still have um, a lot of challenges ahead of us, but um, we give God the glory first for where we are today. However, she kept focus and refused to give up. Mayor Gibson pointed to several progresses her leadership has achieved, including rebuilding the headquarters of the city corporation, re-establishment of some important departments, as well as the Dupont Road and EAW beautification projects. Well, when I initially came in, um, there were some departments that lacked in the municipality. Um, and we had to establish those departments so that they can render the services that the citizens are supposed to receive according to our mandate. So that was the community services department, that was a functional waste and sanitation department, um, the solid waste management department, environmental health department, um, a functional city planning department, um, um, guest services department, which is to manage our hall and all the facilities that we have on grounds, a general services department, which is to maintain our grounds and our assets um, and to also make sure the building is clean. Um, so we had to incorporate those um, departments to make sure that, again, as I've stated, to our um, citizens receive the services that they're supposed to according to our mandate. Um, with all of that said, there are other things that we have done in the municipality, such as um, um, trying to maintain the green and the red light area to get rid of our waste. Um, enforcing taxation um, so that our businesses within the city pay their municipal taxes and their garbage fees. Um, we've also um, done quite a number of beautification projects, which is our ELWA Junction project, um, Duporo project. We've acquired um, waste and sanitation equipment um, since my tenure um, so that we're able to collect the waste. We've acquired additional vehicles, motorcycles, we've employed uh, more people than has been on payroll from um, from my predecessor up to today's date. So we've provided additional employment opportunities for citizens in the municipality. Um, we've created food stands for market women um, throughout the city to make sure that they have a habitable location for them to sell their goods. Um, I'm just pleased that we've been able to serve our people in the capacity in which we have. Also speaking, some citizens and young people of the city thanked the leadership of Madam Gibson, pointing to several developments undertaken within the city. When I would like to commend the, the, the city mayor said she took power. We have seen some development, especially when it comes to the intersection from town or from the airport. You can see, for example, the RIA building. You can see a waterfall right here among the flower. We see if you fence in the bay, which of course used to be the lot. So these are the development she have done so far. But equally so we asking her, we say she still need to do more or want or ask her to relocate or to a place that will be free because whenever we come from shopping or, or rival speed, there's no way. For example, you can see my car lesson play, the new lesson play with me at Duboro Junction, there's a big change there. 
the gentleman used to be like that. And so she put in the little we need to do to draw her and work together as here they I think we will work together. Do we can see our host? Uh, yeah, I've seen some different things going on, development going on, people building, media building going on. At least most more development going on. One of the things, the criminal will be dropping a little bit in our business area because all the time, criminal giving people hard time. So in the process, you will give me a prep, but at least we are less secure. And you see the corporation going around, making business fun. Oh, I think we agree what is living and going on our business. So uh, you pay tax and now you see this different. You think that because of the taxes? Yes, because of the taxes I will pay the government. I need the government trying and bring it to me on the tax I will pay for them. Alright, so uh, the city corporation do collect taxes, right? Yeah. So you now see development through your taxes paid to the city corporation. Exactly. What are some of the developments? What are some of the developments we see now? We say the corporation. When they see government, we see our roads there. We we'll see people carving, fighting on the side pieces of white, and we see buildings going around. We see that we see government and the junction getting fast. So we feel that it's that. Some citizens and young people of the city thanked the leadership of Madam Gibson, pointing to several developments undertaken within the city. When asked about her appointment as acting mayor being a challenge, Madam Gibson said her appointment as acting mayor does not hinder her in any way. She said her relationship with the people is such an exciting one that made her fortunate to serve as mayor of the city of Pinsville. City Corporation, the mayor said she has initiated more programs on taxation including the enforcement of taxes in order to enable government construct more infrastructures that meet the needs of the people. Aside from the many infrastructural activities carried out in the city, she named schools, marketers and motorcyclists as some of the groups and institutions she has been working with in order to make direct impact on the lives of her citizenry. The mayor has also initiated an educative program called Street Library for children within the city. The program helps the kids read as means of building their reading capacity. They have been taught by renowned teachers hired by the city corporation. The title of our book always carry the meaning of our story. But somebody is playing trick with their friend. Right? So Every successful person is always motivated by someone or something. So is Honorable Sivet Gibson, who said traveling overseas and seeing modernization is her motivation as she endeavors to transmit that. When we all travel, we um, there's a gateway to where you're going. And for Liberia, the gateway is the ELWA Junction. Everybody has to pass through Pingsville no matter where they're going, once they're coming from Robertsville Airport. Um, or they're coming to Monrovia, Pingsville, Conga Town, or they're going to the heart of this um, city center of Monrovia. Um, you have to pass through Pingsville. And I feel that it's important that people understand um, Liberianization from a different perspective. Uh, we've had um, a series of issues in our country, um, as you know, being a post-conflict country. We want to change the mindset of Liberia, so people just don't look at us as a post-conflict um, country. They look at us as an emerging market, um, as a developing country, and I feel it's necessary that we do that at ELWA Junction, and also so that we as Liberians, um, we appreciate what we have. Uh, we have so much in this country that we don't, um, we don't really sit down sometimes and take the opportunity, as the people say, to smell the roses and appreciate what we have. And there's no reason why our people shouldn't have access to greenery, nice green space, a water fountain, a Megatron with, um, um, you know, features on it when we can see it in other places. Prior to the appointment of Sylvia Gibson, the city of Pinsville was in great rooms with taxes paid to the municipality not accounted for. But today, we are glad that our taxes can be accounted for through projects, said Elias Cannon, a citizen of Pinsville and a member of the United Brother Plank Field situated at Duput Road intersection. 2005, I've been part of the Plank Field and the Plank Field being like there was no taxation paid to the city corporation. But now since we've been paying tax and other things, the city corporation at least they are putting our tax into use. Like you go to the Pinsville City Hall, at least 
there's a face lift there when you go to here the BA junction there's a face lift you come to the junction there's things in order now there's no street selling all around so at least the city mayor have done well for us a reason being everybody will not feel satisfied with everybody at all time you know government people will go against government people will be in favor of government but they are doing their work like to say don't sell on the main road here you know for your own safety not for government safety but they're protecting you government there to protect life and property so if you sell on the road here god forbid car lose break and can't and kill you they will say oh government not doing nothing so at least the, the city corporation doing well to say oh don't sell here sell so, so, so place they show strategy well, for I want to thank the city mayor for her good work like the sister the young guys we seen the good work they're taking the dice from the street clean the street they want to make sure show, show that the place is very very much clean yeah it's back you see the dice but now we go on the park you see the place is very decent people sit there before people used to go on in the park and toilet some people make the place to be their bathroom but now we go on the park we feel comfortable I'm so fortunate as we're having this um, interview right now. Today we just dedicated a school um, on Dupont Road, uh, which is the KO Science and Technology Institution um, by Coca-Cola, um, LCCBC, um, which will provide kids the opportunity to do other things other than art. Um, they will learn how to become engineers and technical people. Um, so we are working with that institution and I work with other educational institutions in the city as well. We sustain them, um, whether if it's through scholarship or um, whether if it's just going there to make sure that they have the proper facilities for the children. When it comes to marketeers, we've done countless things with marketeers. I mean, as I stated, we've developed food stands throughout the municipality for our market women. We try to make sure that um, they actually go within the markets as opposed to um, selling in the streets. Um, as you know, selling the streets is compromising. It's a, there's a safety issue there. And then there's also their, their, their products are not protected um, because either LMP is going to raid them or the city police is going to raid them because they're illegally selling. Um, so we try to work with them and accommodate them in the markets to make sure that they go in the market houses and leave the streets. When it comes to the Pen Pen Boys, I'm happy to say um, we've just erected our first Pen Pen Station in the city of Kingsville, A.B. Tolbert Road, where um, we have um, our Pen Pen Riders um, stationed in a habitable way and in a constructive way. Um, and we intend on replicating that throughout the municipality. So please look forward to the dedication of that, I would say, within the next um, 10 days, we'll be dedicating that um, that site, and I'm sure that um, the Pen Pen boys in the city will be happy about that. Uh, it's, it's a nice project, it's a nice project, and I really appreciate our effort. And the area is a nice place, but some of the things that we're facing there is our customer. The distance is far, and most of the people will not be able to work to get to you there. And some of our friends who always like to violate. They will not give us the chance, some of will let us sit on the parking lot. But it's a nice place and we appreciate your effort. You can remember when there was a crisis between the motorcyclists and the government uh, pertaining to the, to the incident that happened in real life. She was one of those who advocated for the motorcyclists and we found ourselves back in the street. So this is one of the things that she did for us. Motorcyclists too, they have to, they have to uh, cooperate with the, with the police and the PCC. If that is the case, then of course, you know, it will ease the, the embarrassment between the motorcyclists. Since the inception of President Sully's administration in 2006, Liberia has had two prolific female mayors. Madam Mary Brow, former acting mayor for Monrovia City Corporation, and present Elizabeth Gibson at in city mayor of Pinsville. These two mayors have demonstrated great passion and vigor, serving as acting mayors with great successes and achievements. All the city's mayors in Liberia are predominantly women, owing to the president being Africa's first female president in her quest to promote women in government. I'm sure you know that um, once you elect one woman, you have the tendency to have many more that fall into the same path and, um, and actually admire her and want to do the same things that she's doing. 
Um, so it was, it was a conversation on how do we build capacity in women in a proper way and how other African women are able to support um, each other. I mean, as we know, Madame Salif is the first female president um, elected in Africa. Um, and I think she's the only female president that has been elected in Africa. So um, uh, there was a lot of glory around our president, and Liberia has been in the limelight for this, I would say, since the 1960s. I mean, we look at women such as um, Angie Brooks Randall, we look at um, Emma Shannon Walter, we look, I mean, we've had countless women that have um, stood in leadership roles in Liberia that other women throughout the world have it. I would also like to say that we're working with our money changers. You know, in the city of Pinsu, we have a, a issue with um, our money changers um, remaining in the informal sector and not joining the formal sector. Up to today's date, we've had conversations with them, also collaborating with Central Bank of Liberia to see how we're able to establish forex bureaus throughout the municipality and take our guys off the streets with money. Um, so I would like to say that the reciprocating and the change is near. I think we're going to see some huge developments in that particular sector. The young people in the city of Pinesville have realized that they will not just be placard holders. Um, we have to have an agenda and we have to go according to that agenda. Um, you just can't get in the street and make noise. You have to have, you know, you have to have a road map. Um, and I'm pleased to say that um, I'm working with the youth organizations and working with the young people throughout the city um, to make sure that we stay on that roadmap and we deliver. We don't just sit down and talk about it, but let's engage one another and deliver um, and see how everyone can live amicably. Um, as you know, the city of Pinsu has 78% um, youth. So um, as you all know, that's a staggering number and um, their voices need to be heard and their needs need to be met. And that is why we work together collectively, and um, I think that we achieve our goals. And dear last name on there, before we take a leave of you, is there anything you have to say or to touch on before we end this interview? Well, the only thing I would like to say is when it comes to ELW Junction, um, I'm sure that when many of us are going home in the evening, we see um, our street sellers there selling all over the streets. And I uh, would like to say that we as Pinesvillians, we should not be enabling our people to continue bad habits. As we stop in the night and we buy our biscuit from the boy that's selling on the side, we buy our brown for the woman that's selling in front of Eagle, or we buy our slipper from the man that's selling it right in front of the city builders, we are enabling our people to grow. I would like to say, please, let's stop. Let's make sure we get our people in the market houses. I'm sure you would not like the fact that one of your relatives are sitting on the side of the road selling. You should actually um, try to encourage um, each other to go into the market and sell instead of selling on the streets. Selling on the streets is temporary. Get in the market and do it the right way. Sivet Gibson is also the first female mayor of Pinesville City Corporation since... This documentary has been powered by Tri-Media Communication and Entertainment Incorporated. I'm Ramsugal, bidding you now a pleasant goodbye. Thank you.